Good morning. I'm Jan Bearden, and I want to welcome you back to Morning Reflections, produced by Raising Dreamers Ministries. As we visit with Paul this week, let's look at who he was and who he became. Paul had it all in terms of worldly accolades. He was Jewish, circumcised the eighth day of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of the Hebrews, a Pharisee, a zealous persecutor of the church and blameless in the sight of the law. He was a doer if ever there was one. But when the Lord Jesus became his life and his attitude, Christ also became his goal. In Philippians 3, 7 through 10, we hear Paul say, But what things were gained to me, those I counted loss for Christ. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ, and be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. Knowing Jesus became Paul's goal, his ambition, his life's mission. How different his life had become no longer did position, power, influence, or wealth mean anything to him compared to the joy of surrendering his life to all that Christ wanted to do in and through him. He had discovered the truth that it is not in seeking to know the Lord we find defeat, but in trying to travel the wearying road of achievement and accomplishment trying to earn our way into God's good graces. His only goal had become to know Christ and make him known. Ladies, we can try to do it our own way, in our own strength, and fail every time. Or we can surrender control of it all to him and find that Sabbath rest that Hebrews 4 tells us about. Join me tomorrow as we look further into this attitude of surrender and how to appropriate it into our daily lives. See you tomorrow.